My Vina loves is Miss Vina D coming to you all from Vina Entertainment News. So, um, Ava Marcel um, got married um, over the weekend, and she had first it was her rehearsal dinner. So let me go ahead and put these clips right here. Oh, her daughter is so adorable carrying around mommy's train. So as you can see, the ladies were there. Um, you know, even looked great. I took these clips from Neo wife uh, Crystal Smith Page. She's she's so amazing. Okay, so obviously the picture that I'm using as a background is not Eva wedding dress. She have not posted images yet about her wedding. You know, she just got married, so she's just enjoying her bliss right now. And I'm sure she's going to post images. And then, of course, videos and everything else will be shown on the show. So, you know, as far as the rehearsal dinner goes, you know, people were allowed to have their phones, take pictures, post on social media, do what you got to do. Uh, I'm sure the cameras were still there for the Real Housewives of Atlanta, but the rehearsal dinner was like, you know, go ahead and do your thing, post whatever. But the wedding is being filmed, so that's one. Um, if you're going all around social media and looking for images and wondering why there's no images, videos, oh, Miss Vena is good with, you know, posting details from the party. She posted a Porsche prayer party, Shamir, you know, baby shower, and just all of these different videos and clips was going on Why she's not posting anything about Eva wedding it looks like one it was being filmed so they're gonna save it all for TV but secondly it's your big day you want to be able to you know come to social media and post the pictures that you want post the images that you want be able to have that moment and you don't want other people and as much as you're grateful for their excitement you don't want other people to take that moment away from you you know and just plaster your big day all over social media and allow people to have their own narrative so uh, tanya one of the new ladies on the real housewives of atlanta you know she was going to allegedly you know have a peach but then something happened last minute and it was changed where she's now a friend of the show with marlo There's no videos running around social media because their cell phones were taken away. So let's go ahead and listen to Tanya. She posted a video talking about that. Guys, we're at Eva's wedding and she's confiscating all our phones. All the phones. Put your phone away, Shamari. Rachel, Three tell them about your phone. Bye. Hi, wedding. But she was there. She looks beautiful. All of them look beautiful. Um, I mean, I love the color scheme. Portia did hop on Instagram earlier before this beautiful image was taken and, you know, was asking for suggestions on which dress to wear. So they all look gorgeous. I can already picture Kenya Moore in this red against her complexion. Amazing. Okay. But we already know that there's some friction there and even if well you don't have to be you did not have to be a part of the show obviously to be there because it's a wedding okay but it's someone's big day Eva and Kenya don't know each other that well all right and Eva recently went on Portia page and made a comment on an image that had both Portia and Kenya Moore holding their stomach in that picture and so eva made a comment well shimia made a comment y'all cute and eva made a comment you are glowing right no big deal because um what's her name claudia jordan did the same thing on the kenya moore picture so you have people laughing um and you have people correcting you know eva they both are glowing all right and yes they are both glowing 
girl and then you have people basically Kenya's beautiful she is so you only see one person why you hate Kenya she did nothing to you be happy for both stop it right so this person is funny is Porsche picture so why she obviously you know what I'm saying so this for the people saying that, well, Kenya, you know, threw shade to Eva, you know, even though Eva did nothing to her by saying that Cynthia Bailey was a real model and Eva is a TV model. Some people just hate Kenya and that's it. Because the last time I remember, we got everybody knew exactly what Kenya Moore meant. There are some women that would get offended right now if you refer to them as an Instagram model, but they model on Instagram. They became famous on Instagram. They have millions of followers on Instagram. If you take them off Instagram, there's no magazines and nothing else other than Instagram. So they call them Instagram models. So Kenya was simply saying TV model as in that's how we were introduced to uh, Eva. And it's the truth, but is Kenya and the way how she says things of course people were like shade <laughs> but you know let's go ahead and continue regardless if Cynthia and Eva you know they have to work together so they have squashed whatever situation they had they've had conversations the reason why she even had scenes were because of Cynthia Bailey hopping on the fact that the guy will that Cynthia was dating, was dating her friend, and that whole situation was a big mess. So the same way how she was able to reconcile with Cynthia, then there shouldn't be any problems with Kenya because they all throw shade. But Eva came into the group already judging Kenya, okay? Also too, Eva have spent a lot of time with these ladies filming. So of course her relationship with Cynthia Bailey is cool and, and all of that and it's being filmed. And also too, it's her wedding day. She does not know Kenya. You know what I'm saying? She does not know Kenya. If Kenya was still on the show, if Kenya was still on the show and they had spent more time together getting to know each other, then of course come to my wedding. That's your big day. If I don't know you and I just know you through passing or I worked for you, you're not getting invited to my wedding. You know, so I don't take no offense to it that Kenya is not there. The only reason why I brought up Kenya's name is because I already know her complexion with red or anything that just make her complexion pop would have just looked gorgeous, okay? So I already know she would have killed this picture right here. But of course, you already know Kenya's name came up. They can't post anything about them where Kenya don't come up. And I know that's irritating for some of the girls. It's like, Lord, is, can I just post something without it being about Kenya more? But Kenya name is everywhere. So it's, it's not just me because I support Kenya saying that, oh, she would have looked great. So I'm just answering the questions for those who are like, why was Kenya not there? Eva don't know Kenya like that. You guys just think I go digging for things that include Kenya Moore name and post it on here just to include Kenya Moore in a conversation even though she's no longer on the show by her choice anyways. But here I am on the Real Housewives of Atlanta page. Okay, it's a support page that posts about the ladies so shout out to them. The very first comment, I thought it was black tie. Candy fan page responded, it was. The very next comment, Mala gets invited to more things than Kenya. I'm only the second comment in, and Kenya morning is dropped. So when I come to these um, pages to see what people are talking about about the show, it's in my face, I can't escape it. So no, I'm not going digging for Kenya Moore comments and putting it all together and making it look like people really care or talking. That's why I do these screen records so you guys can see because yes, if I'm doing like a screenshot and copying and putting things together, that's one thing. But I'm literally doing a screen record and there you go. So let me see what the responses are. Not at all. Kenya is too heavy and enjoying her pregnancy with her husband. How do you know Eva doesn't like Kenya? 
Eva literally has no reason to dislike her. She probably didn't invite her because she's not on the show and they are not friends in real life. Kenya has been at every event lately. She is like, you're going to see this baby bum. baby bum. As far as the wedding, I guess they aren't friends, which is okay. Exactly. She said it in an interview. Eva said in an interview she don't like Kenya. That's too big. Can't believe she actually said that when she never interacted with her. Oh, well. We'll see if they even bring Eva back next season. Yeah, Eva don't care too much for Kenya. She threw, she threw a little shade last season in one of those interviews. I guess every insecure woman who comes across Kenya is threatened, not surprised. That's just stupid. I remember her saying she liked Portia. She liked Portia even though almost all the cast didn't get along with her because she refused to be a sheep. Now she doesn't like Kenya because almost the cast doesn't like her. <laughs> they never had any interaction together and her to not like Kenya based on hearsay makes her a hypocrite. Nah sis, better humble herself before they kick her off next season. Calling it now, this is her last season. She's super dull, nothing to bring her, nothing to bring. Her storyline is equally dry. Eva don't even have a reason to dislike Kenya. There it is, guys. I didn't say it. So I'm just, I just did the screen record. This is about Eva wedding, her happy day, not about negativity or drama. But I just had to go back and do a screen record to include it because, you know, sometimes when I, when I'm doing videos and Kenya is not in it, I, I get to, oh my God, there she goes, trying to put Kenya in it. We video, but can't escape it. She's hot topic. Why does it seem like Kenny is by herself this season? We need Kenya back. And to the person writing that this might be Ken, uh, like Kenya Eva last season, um, since I've barely been on the show for a long time, and she bring that balance, you know, to the show. She's not always in drama. According to what we've seen, Eva is going to be going out Milo allegedly, and she brings a lot of drama. But as you can see, with all of that, Milo was invited to the wedding. That's what I'm saying. I don't care, okay, that you're on the show and all of that. I don't, I don't care. It's your wedding day. You know, it's your wedding day. You're not going to tell me I can invite someone that I don't get along with to my wedding. So if Eva can go through all of the things allegedly or apparently is being shown on camera, but yet still invite Milo to her wedding, then it means they have conversation and they talk, right? She's shooting with Milo, all of that. She's on the show. I get it. So for the the only reason why I brought up what Kenya Moore said is Eva have no meaning brought her to the show as a friend. So she's just doing what you know people normally do when they come on the show. Don't give Kenya a chance and dislike her for no reason, even though you've never had a conversation with her a day in your life. So that's what's going on. But at the end of the day, it's no big deal, guys. It's Eva wedding and Eva should be able to invite whoever she wants to invite. It's completely understandable, man. Also, too, in this picture, Candy is not in this picture, but Candy was there. when. So basically... Somebody, you know, jumped on here and said, where Candy Yams at? Well, Candy name is spelled K-A-N-D-I. But Portia basically shutting down any rumors that you guys are not about to start no mess. She wrote, get down on the dance floor with hubby. She meant getting down on the dance floor with hubby, okay? And I'm glad you cleared that up because the rumors were starting already just from one picture. Just praying for, you know, this person just basically want all of them to just be cordial and, you know, just exactly. So that's that. All right. There you go again. No candy. I guess that person did not see Portia comment on the top. One of the comments said she was on the dance floor with hubby. There you go. All right. That person went ahead and responded with something positive. Okay. Why is candy? It's why is Kenny so extra? The fact that you are part of the show with Portia means you, you're, you're a Portia Fiore in the same league. Let it go, girl, and forgive. It's only hurting yourself. People assume stuff again, but I understand. Uh, why is everyone so worried about where Kenny is? She's not the only person who is missing out of the picture. That just be reaching exactly the girl she married. Uh, Ronnie DeVore wife and the one from the Arabic. She's not in this picture either.
okay so anyways i'm not going to read anymore if you want to read more about people coming for candy just type in portia williams instagram page in google if you don't have social media and you'll be able to find her page just click the link and read the comments for yourself so so that's that candy was there she looked beautiful she took pictures with cynthia bailey and they did the whole um pictures with their Candy with her husband, Cynthia with her man, and everybody just looked great. It was a beautiful event, um, but it looks like Shamia already had previous engagements, and that's why she wasn't there. She and her husband was actually at another wedding um, on the same day and around the same time, so it looks like that's why Shamia wasn't there. Although it could be as well that you know maybe she don't know Shamia like that, and. Um, Shimia wasn't invited or she's still holding on to that whole Missy Elliott, you know, situation. Shimia coming at her sideways. Whatever the case might be, I know that Shimia was somewhere else. So whether she invited her or not, she was good because she was celebrating her friend. So for people asking where Shimia was, that's that. Bailey posted more pictures from the wedding and people under her comments were basically asking um, what happened to Nini face all right what happened to Nini Nini's face real life all right I wasn't gonna say anything looking like so people talking about her face now I'm not saying Nini you know well Nini did her nose that's all we know about but in Nini's defense Cynthia blurred out her underarm because we all know sometimes our underarm, you know, might be a different color <laughs> than our complexion. So in the midst, I'm zooming in so you can see, okay? In the midst of blurring out her underarm because of the discoloration, she ended up heavily airbrushing Nini's face to the point where her eyes is almost completely wiped out and I'm zooming in. And of course, her face is airbrushed too, but Nini is completely. And then this is nothing new anyways, um, because Nini does the same thing on her pictures. She always airbrush her, her face. So Cynthia doing that is no big deal. This is who Nini uh, took as her date um, to the event and to the wedding. Greg is still sick, as you guys are aware. Uh, Kyle is king. So, I've, so, oh, I see I've been replaced. And then he responded with a, a laughing emoji. So, yep. As Eva waits for her photographers to get her professional wedding images together, she was out, you know, celebrating. Basically, you know, when you get married, it's a whole wedding weekend. You have the ceremony and some people have like cook out the next day and things like that. So Eva was out and these are pictures here of her um, hanging out. And once again, I love that um, Krista Smith, uh, Neil's wife, she's, you know, always on Instagram, you know, just posting behind the scenes of her life. She's very involved with her supporters and stuff like that. And that's cool. So she posted that is beautiful image of she and uh, Eva together so one thing about me guys whether I'm here for you or not I'm going I support everybody it's not that deep you know what I'm saying so congratulations to Eva I'm um, wishing her nothing but the best and you know wishing her and her husband Michael a lifetime of happiness they do have a beautiful family collectively Eva daughter is you know with music producer and singer kevin mccall and then their son with her now husband he's just so adorable look at his eyes <laughs> he is so adorable and her daughter is adorable as well so wishing them nothing but the best man i'm gonna go ahead and end here my final loves i'm wishing you all an amazing day thank you all for the love and support if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up also turn on notifications so when I do post your way that I posted and I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God best attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Situation. Have a great day guys. God bless.